This here is Blackburn's Legacy. He's homozygous done. He only has white on his face, which is a large star blaze, not quite all the way down to the nose. He's by Mr. Blackburn 946. And out of Pretty Silver Queen, an own daughter, Pretty Buck Poco. And he's for sale. All he will ever give you is duns and grulas, depending on what you breed him to. He can produce red duns. He's not homozygous black, but he is homozygous dun. So, he's going to be his mother's size. Every horse I've ever had out of this mare and out of this cross, these daughters out of Pretty Buck Poco produce 14 two to 15 hand offspring out of my stallion. Um, Mr. 946 is now deceased. This is his last full crop. Won't be any more of these. And if this was a filly, he'd be staying right here. Um, this big dun over here, if we can get him to come out, would be a genetic three-quarter brother. His mother was by the Pretty Buck Poco, and those two mares were, their mothers were sisters as well. And so he will... He will be this color. This is the color he'll end up being. I call that a clayback dun. It's a very pretty dun. It's a true dun. They'll have the black points and, you know, all that. His black points on this little guy are going to show up later. He's straight. He doesn't have any, any sweeped out feet or legs. Um, He has one full brother that is out in British Columbia, Canada. Mr. Lowell Pearl bought him. And he had a little bitty star. And he was much more of a cinnamon done, more of a reddish done. This one here is going to be the same color as his mother and his cousin. And he uh, he's a quiet colt. I, I, he's, he likes to... He, he doesn't act like... He's not real fickle and playful. He likes to, he's serious, he, he checks stuff out, but he's always been quiet, well-mannered. He's not halter broke yet. He was just born the first week of June. And uh, they've been sitting here at home, waiting for Mommy to get rebred. She's probably going to holler for him. She's a good mama. She likes to watch over her babies. Oh, there he goes. I can't get my camera to zoom in anymore. I'm sure he's going to come back. Looking for Mommy. We'll catch it when he comes back. Here he comes. He's been in that pen with that other mare in Philly. And the studs over there, too. Look at him. Just a looking. He has a very nice shoulder and hip. His mom is also for sale, but she's bred to the Jazz Acero Ombre horse. So, she's making room for all the daughters I've kept for some of this little guy's sisters. Like that one right there, and that pin is his sister, who's going to be staying. She's going to be a little grula. That's the only white is what's on his face there. I call that the ice cream cone star blaze combo. I do get that often on my colts. Although the stallion had no white and the mare had no white, it still pops up every now and then. Somewhere in somebody's past they had that marking. I've been out spraying to you. Queenie is 15 hands, like I said. Um, all the other siblings from her and other 
offspring bred exactly the same way. Some of like some of the mares I said are sisters to her. They've all reached the top of the scale as far as the height goes for my Blackburns. These are my bigger, taller ones, and they're nicely proportioned and. Um, Hey, little guy, you gonna go back over there and see your sister? I believe he's priced at 4000 That's probably some of the top dollars I've put on my colt, but it's because he is homozygous done, and it is because there ain't no more, and I think he's worth it as a stallion prospect. You couldn't ask for a better foundation package than he is right there. And uh, you want to put him in the reining pen or roping or working cow, any any event. He has a genetic full brother that has done all of that and been good at all of that and a money earner as well. His name is Purdy Burt Blackburn. And uh, they're they're just... They're using kind, and they're built to take it, and they're still pretty doing it. So if you're interested in him, please give me a call.